Good morning. We're here in Beach Hill over on the uh, southeastern side of Haywards Heath within the very popular Northlands Wood area. Um, just so you understand where we are, this is we're at the southern end of Beach Hill, which is the original part, which was mainly built in the early 1970s. It's a really nice part. The nice thing about these houses are they were on very generous plots and this house is no exception. So you've got a big southeast facing rear garden on this one. Um, so come and have a look around. Now the owner has been here about 10 years. He's done quite a lot to it. The driveway's all been replaced and that actually continues around to the, uh, the rear terrace. He's, done a, uh, he's opened up the kitchen and the dining room, which I'll show you in a moment, but a really nice big house. And although it's a good four bedroom family house, house there is that potential to extend out on this side if you wanted to. Um, but just to give you a few geographical things, uh, the Princess Royal Hospital is literally just around the corner. That's about a five to 10 minute walk away. And if you follow around Beach Hill, literally about 300 yards up on the right hand side, you've got the Northlands Wood Primary School. And there's a couple of little shortcuts that go through to where the Northlands Wood Doctor's Surgery, Pharmacy and the Tesco Express is. So that is less than a quarter of a mile. So great position for all those sorts of things. Town centre, you're talking about a 15, 20 minute walk and the railway station, according to Google Maps, is 1.7 miles. Um, children from this side of town generally go on to uh, Oat Hall Community College down in Lindfield and there's various shortcuts through to there, um, which basically makes that about an, a mile and a quarter from here. So the kids generally walk around there from here. So have a look inside. So the owner has done lots of things, all been redecorated, nice new floor coverings pretty much throughout. Um, got a downstairs loo there, it's a spacious loo. And then come through, there's an understairs cupboard there, which is very useful, but this is one of the big improvements. So this would have been a sort of two separate rooms. So it's opened up this fabulous big kitchen. So great big kitchen come breakfast area. The kitchen, all modern high gloss units. There's a built-in dishwasher, oven and hob there. The, the fridge and the um, washing machine are freestanding. And of course, there's a side door to the garden. Garden's really lovely. It's 64 feet wide by about 50, 57 feet deep. So I'll show you out there in a moment. But yeah, nice big kitchen. That's how we seem to be live. And these quite nice folding doors through to the main lounge. And these lounges have got this great big bow window. Let's have a good look in the front of the property. So yeah, nice big room. That's just a uh, yeah, feature fireplace there. It's not a proper open fire. And then the conservatory, that just gives you another extra big room on the back. What a nice big space. Again, spilling onto the garden. And then come upstairs. As mentioned, there is that potential to extend this house. And what I've seen a couple of people do with these houses is where the garage is, you've extended out that way and either build a new garage or even a double garage and then a great big ma new master suite on the side. So up on the landing, airing cupboard there, hatch up into the loft, which the owner's done uh, some boarding in, in most part of that. And I'll just talk, take you around in order. So front bedroom there, probably the biggest room. This is probably the widest room. And again, great big picture windows. I love all this light. But that's what the 70s was all about. Everyone says, oh, they're boxy. It was all about light. They've got big windows, lots of natural light coming in here. And then next door, another nice size room, range of wardrobes. And this have all pretty much got built-in cupboards in almost all these rooms. That's overlooking the back garden. It's a shame the sun is just actually up above us there. We're southeast facing here, but as you can see, you've got a lot of trees in your garden, which you could obviously trim those down and make it feel a bit lighter. Next door, the family bathroom. This wasn't refitted. This was as was when the owner bought it 10 years ago. But as you can see, absolutely spotlessly clean with a proper shower as well. And then next door here, another double. Good size room. Double wardrobe in this corner. Plenty of space. And again, overlooking the back garden. The houses behind, you're backing onto some really nice houses in a cul-de-sac called The Grove. And that's what's behind. And then the little bedroom at the front, very much being used as the home office. Study with a desk. Again, lovely big window to work from. And in this one, I mean, this room feels a bit smaller than it is because obviously you've got these set of wardrobes being put in there. Uh, but there is already a built-in double wardrobe in this room. So as the little room goes, it's actually quite practical. But really nice room to work from home. Everyone seems to want a home office. And that's your outlook. Lovely big open outlook. We're seeing on a nice day. Probably not gonna pick this up on this camera, but you've got a terrific view right the way across the top of Linfield from here, which is quite good. So 
That's the inside. So we've got four bedrooms, one big bathroom upstairs. Obviously, you've got an extra large living space downstairs, having had the bigger opened up kitchen and, of course, the conservatory. And then let's take you out into the garden. Come this way. So again, when the driveway was done, all this terracing and pathways was replaced as well, which is quite good. But look at this great big garden. And as mentioned, it's 64 feet wide by 57 feet deep. These look like they're pretty much, I think, all your trees and I'm not sure if they're on your garden or your neighbor's garden, but lots of uh, space there, but a really nice big garden for any family. And when you come down here, you can see all that potential to extend the house there. So lots of room there, but really nice. And very private, it's secluded. You don't, with these modern houses nowadays, especially with a lot of the new developments, everyone's very much overlooking everyone else. This one is nice to have an old established plot. You've got the garage, as you can see, space to the side here for a little shed. In fact, while we're here, I'll show you the garage. And we do joke about this, but have a look at this. That is a car in a garage, something that is very rarely seen. I shouldn't take the mickey, but it is good fun, isn't it? You've got and power and electric out here and a decent sized gate. So if you have got dogs or kids, you've got a proper gate that can be all locked. But there you go. That is number 28 Beach Hill over in the Northlands Wood area. It's close to an excellent school. You can walk to local shops. You've got the Princess Royal up the hospital up the road. A bus service runs around Beach Hill so you can get into town or down to the station quite easier. And it sits on a very large plot. And to top it all, the owner uh, is happy to offer the property with no onward chain if you wanted to move quickly. I hope that's of interest. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Hayward Seath. Thanks for watching.